All right, so we just pulled up to location number two. Lost Eric. Eric had to go to work. Uh, Thomas, one of my patrons that, that came out to this open invite uh, today, um, he's here. So I'm um, going to get ready to walk up. Clean my lens real fast. Getting ready to walk up and uh, grab the grab the rods. Walk over and see fish off this ledge a little bit and see if... Um, See if we can get lucky, see if we can grab a couple, a couple flatties, of course it's all, you know, catch or release, it's all catch or release, grab my Bucky's cup, and uh, like the truck, let's go. You thought you had the place to yourself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> My cars, I didn't know where you went. I went to McDonald's real fast. I saw you, I saw when you pulled up. Yeah. I went to McDonald's real fast and grabbed myself a got a refuel. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm gonna try some of these right here. Three inch. Or a white pink tail. It's a great color to use. I like the four inch. I do. I like a little bear. Um, I did grab some small ones. I need to uh, go visit my my buddies at Academy and see if I can uh, pick up some more. I go up and have a three eighths ounce jig head. H2 Express jig head. Forty pound carbon leader line just some cheaper stuff not the Yozuri typically flounder aren't gonna be line shy especially like right now since they're feeding a lot they're not gonna be line shy so I'm not really too concerned about them being able to see the line you can even go with mono if you want but mono stretches a little a little bit for me and uh, So having to flip a lot of times, flip these, flip the, the flounder up, I really, a little less stretch, the easier for me. Setting the hook as well, kind of helps a little bit. Might be one right here. There we go. Good little guy. Oh, 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 he ran into the rocks. There we go. Little baby. little baby and a little dirty one got a little dirt on him he's nice he probably he might be close to 14 maybe 15 but he's not not quite the size we're looking for it's all catch on release today anyway the little guy Put them back in. Gone. And that time I'm just working it. And they're probably about eight feet in front of me. And I just pause to where the slack out of my line. Pause the lure. And they're just a quick don't. That was it. Raise my rod tip. Felt a little bit of weight on there. And then quickly set my hook. That way you get them right in the mouth. Don't want them to choke it. You don't want it to go down their throat. You don't want to cause, cause them, you know, uh, flounder or notoriously gut hook. So you don't want to fill with any of that. You want them to be relatively safe and uh, be able to get, get them in and out. Or out and out the water and in back in the water. I don't, oh, I just see some big old mullet come through. I really like these polarized lenses. You can really see a lot penetrate into the water. Even even on non days where it's not that sunny. You can really see pretty good. I keep looking back to make sure no birds are in my drink. <laughs> I will see. 
you know, flounder-like structure. So I'm gonna fish around these rocks just a little bit to see if I can uh, get my lure up and close and see if we can get a, uh, a flounder. Sometimes uh, with the current, it'll dig a little bit underneath the, the front of these rocks and that gives a little bit of hole. That makes a little bit more structure that they that they can kind of hang out and, and get onto some uh, get onto some bait, ambush them. There he goes. Good one. That's a nice bend. There's like a rock or something right there. And a minute ago, I felt bump and I stopped. And then I jigged it and I was hung up. So I can't, and then I finally got it out. So I threw that one again and I felt bump. And this time I let him. And I think he grabbed it and pulled it away from the rock. And then I set the hook. He just hanging out right on the other side of it. <laughs> they do that. I'm glad I went back to it. Right. Right, I was, I'm glad I was able to find it again. You dirty, man. Nice guy though, right in the side of the mouth, right there, right on the jawline, that's what you want to see. Hopefully this boat brings a couple more, and we're able to uh, look into a couple more. You know, sometimes those boats, when they come up like that, they push all the current, and it's just this just offers a nice area where the flounder could come in and, and bed down a little bit, and eat a little bit, rest a little bit as they continue to migrate and move off into more open water so and with the boats coming in like i said it offers that current and a lot of times if they're around the ledge or closer to more in the channel the boat coming by kind of stirs them up or at least it seems like they will stir them up and bring them in a little bit make it a little more active might be another one it might be a small one there he goes Yep, little guy. Seems like they moved in with that boat. It's holding out pretty good. Little chipper. Little potato chip. Oh, I knew you were falling. Slip. Little chipper. Right, he got one to double up. Double. Twofer. As soon as that. As soon as that boat. As soon as that boat moved through, a little bit of current. It just went right there. And he was waiting on you. That's what I'm talking about. Bring him up. Oh, yes, yes. That's a good one. I got me out of it. I'm hung up. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. The tandem strikes again. That one he got on the pearl. The last one was yeah. on the on the root beer.
is it you know I came out today and I did an open invite and um, had a couple of patrons that were going to meet up I'm not too sure what uh, what happened with them but I thought I would tag along and throw an open invite to my other patrons where I did have one patron show up Thomas show up Thomas great meeting you thank you for the support brother uh, it really means a lot to you know subscribers and viewers and, and patrons that uh, love and support that uh, so many of y'all show and, and, and show me through uh, last few years but um, you know what? The flounder fishing is slow. It's slow right now, and uh, I knew going into today it was going to be a little slow. Um, you know, just right before this front, you know, we have this front that's going to come through tomorrow, and that, that should really shake things up. So if you're going to think about going flounder fishing, you know, uh, any time after a front is a good time. Pushes the water out, pushes the, makes the flounder move a little bit, drops the temperature, drops the water temperature, and the flounder can be very, very active. Uh, today's lure that was working, Thomas was crushing him on white. You know, I was throwing white a little bit, but um, he was having a lot of luck on his tandem and his uh, his white there, and, and it just seemed like that that was the the go-to lure today, the the go-to white gope. Uh, I don't remember if it was shrimp mantis or a swim mullet. Uh, it was either R. But, uh, you know, top seeker location, two top seeker locations, back to back trips this week. You know, over there at Pelican Island Bridge and here the ferry landing. You know, just having a good time. Just, you know, catch and release. Didn't catch anything too spectacular, you know, but I had a really good time. I had a lot of fun. I hope you get guys did too. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go and do so. Like the video, leave a comment. All that stuff helps the channel out tremendously. And uh, hopefully next time you catch me. Hooking up.